Hey everybody, and welcome to, I don't know what we're calling this thing. Uh, I'm making a character for our Gems of Power campaign. If you haven't heard about Gems of Power, it's the new campaign Chucky's, Chucky's putting together. Um, there's a bunch of players, Clam Taco, Distracted Elf. I'm blanking on the other one names right now, but they're there. Let's look at them. Let's actually get these names down. Fuzzy Freaks and Justin. So those are our players. I need to roll some stats. There's currently stats below me right here that aren't real stats. We're going to roll 40, 61, and just hope that they're better than this. And we're going to make ourselves a character. I think we're going to go with wizard or sorcerer or some sort of thing. I, some way to create lots of fire and kill people with fire. Three, four, five, six. Well, a 15 is not bad. Okay, so, player's handbook time. Do we want to be a wizard or a sorcerer? Let's, I understand how a wizard works. I don't really understand how a sorcerer works. So we're going to take a quick look. No, not warlocks. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Mechanics. Mechanics. Okay, a few spell slots per level, spells known, cantrips. Oh, you don't know very many spells. Um, you know two spells of first level spells. For instance, when you reach third level in this class, you can learn a new one, a new spell of first or second level. Additionally, when you gain a level, you may choose a sorcerer spell and replace it with another one. Okay. But still, you don't get to know very many spells. Do wizards have that restriction? Where are, where's the wizard? No, wizards get unlimited spells known. We have the same rate of spell casting. That is to say, we get the same number of slots per level. I just have a serious cap on how many spells I can know. But I do get more cantrips. Hmm. Quantum magic at some level. Okay, sorcery points. Get a whole bunch of those things. How do they work? You can use your sorcery points to gain additional spell slots or sacrifice spell slots to gain additional sorcery points. You can transform uh, unexpended sorcery spell sorcery points into one spell slot as a bonus action on your turn. Creating a spell slot to, to the creating spell slot table shows you the cost of creating a spell slot of a given level. You can create spell slots no higher than fifth. So every you know two points creates a first, three a second, five a third, six a fourth, seven a fifth. Okay. And meta magic. Uh, what the fuck is this shit? Do, 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 do. Okay, so then you can use your sorcery spot uh, slots to do cool shit. Um, oh, someone's rolling. Chucky's rolling. Uh oh. Uh oh. God, what is he gonna say? There's no way to stop him. I guess I could turn off that overlay, so you don't see it. But then we're gonna bring it back later. Oh no. Whatever. Okay, so these modifiers seem kind of cool um sorceress origin uh, i could do a red dragon or a brass dragon or a gold dragon as magic flows your body causes physical traits of your dragon's ancestors to emerge let's just mute that um First level, your hit point maximum increases by one, increases by one again whenever you take a level in the class. Um, OK. 
Okay, so direct armor. So I get slight buff. I don't actually get to cast magic, or I don't actually get to breathe fire, though. Hmm. Hmm. You can manipulate the forces of chance and chaos to gain advantage on one attack roll. Let's get the lighting a little bit better. Um, one attack roll, ability check or saving throw. Once you do so, you must finish a long rest before you can use the feature again. Anytime before you use it. Da -da -da -da. Magic surge table. Okay. Wild surge shit. No, you know what? I don't really like the look of a sorcerer. They seem kind of lame. I mean, they get their careful spell, distance spell, empowered spell, extended spell, heightened spell, quicken spell, subtle spell, twin spell. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Some of these are actually okay. Some of these are actually pretty cool. All right, maybe we should go with the Sorcerer. I don't know, they're kind of lame, but they're kind of cool. I think with my attention to detail, I should be able to do some cool shit but I'd have to pay a lot of attention in combat. And lately I've been kind of bored in combat. I prefer role-playing. Um... Do you really not want to do a wizard? Let's take a look at a wizard again. You just get... What would the school of evocation be? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, God, I'm really not liking any of these spellcasting classes. I don't think they're that cool. But I do want to do a spellcaster. Sorcerer or wizard? Sorcerer or wizard? Don't really like sorcerer, but I haven't seen a sorcerer played yet. So, I th and their their meta magic shit is pretty interesting. Um, how do you get a f spells known? You know two first level spells of your choice from the sorcerer spell list. Okay. All right. I think we're going to make a sorcerer. Sorcerers are what? Charisma should be your highest, followed by constitution. Is what they say. So let's bring back our stats. Ah. So what do we have here? Uh, well, we're going to put our 15 in Charisma. Our second highest is a 13, so that goes into Con. Um, 8 and 9 are our lowest. So we're going to do 8 Strength, 9 Wisdom, uh, 11, 10, 13. 11, 10. So an 11 and a 10, they don't really matter, but 11. 10. So this is going to be minus 1, this is going to be 0, plus 1, 0, minus 1, plus 2. <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, yep. Now I need a race. Um, 
Um, this is Chucky's World, so I might go with Dragonborn. Because they get a plus two to Charisma, right? Your Strength score increases by two, and your Charisma score increases by one. Ooh. Who gets a plus two to Charisma? I don't know if any race gets a plus two to Charisma. Tiefling? Tiefling charisma goes up by two. I want to be a fucking tiefling. Maybe I should be a human. Do we have any cool feats we can take? Can we even take feats? I think we can. Okay, let's take a look at feet, see if there's anything cool for a sorcerer to take. Hmm, alert athlete actor, increases charisma by one. You have advantage on charisma checks when trying to pass yourself off as a different person. You can mimic the speech of another person or the sounds made by other creatures. You must have heard the person speaking or heard the creature make a sound for at least one minute. Successful wisdom insight check contested by your charisma deception check allows a listener to determine the effect is faked. Ooh, that might actually be nice. It's a bonus to charisma on top of the one from being human, which bring it to two, which bring it to 17, which means the next time I level it would go up to 18, which would be a plus four. Um, and then I can imitate other people's sounds and shit, which I can drive Chucky crazy with. With which I can drive Chucky crazy, I should say. Um, durable. No, elemental adept. Choose one of the following damage types. Spells you cast ignore resistance to the damage of the chosen type. In addition, when you roll damage for a spell that casts it, you can treat any one on the damage die as a two. Hello. You can select this feat multiple times. Each time you do so, you may change the different damaging type. Ooh. So that means all my fire spells, ones or twos. And you can ignore resistance to the damage of the chosen type. So if something is resistant to fire damage, I can still hit it with fire. Also liking that. Um, although, to be honest, I probably won't need that at level 1. I doubt we'll run into any creatures with fire resistance. We could get lucky. We could get lucky. That might be fun. Again. Hmm. Okay, Mage Initiate. Oh no, I just get two cantrips. And choose one first level spell from that same list. Hmm. Oh, we can only cast it once per day. Hmm. Um, hmm. I don't think anything else here is what I'm looking for. Spell Sniper? When you cast a spell that requires you to make an attack roll, the spell's range is doubled. Hello. Your range spell ignores half cover and three quarters cover. You learn one cantrip that requires an attack roll. Choose the cantrip from the spell list. Your spell casting ability for this cantrip depends on the spell list you choose from. Okay. Warcaster. You have advantage on con saving throws that that you make to maintain your concentration on a spell when you take damage. You can perform a somatic perform the somatic components of a spell even when you have the weapon or shield in both hands. When also a creature's movement provokes an attack of opportunity from you, you can use your reaction to cast a spell at the creature rather than making an opportunity attack. A spell must have a casting time of one action. You may only target that creature. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know, guys. I think if I was trying to be more damage output, I'd go with something else. But I think I'm going to go with actor. So let's take a look. Um, oh, so I'm going to get a plus one to plus two to charisma because of because of actor. So this becomes a 17, becomes a plus three, and I'm going to get a plus one to con, making this 14, making this plus two. Um, feet actor. Um, we're not going to write everything down, but 165. There we go. We should just fill out all this information right now, actually. Uh, this is 2 minus 1, 0, 2, 0. Oh, that's a period somehow, minus 1, 3. There should be a zero. Dex is zero minus one, zero minus one, three minus, nope, intelligence is zero minus one, three, zero minus one, zero minus one, three, three, zero, zero, zero minus one. Cool. Um, 10, 10, 0, 30, uh, proficiencies and shit. Let's quickly dart over to the sorcerer section. Uh, daggers, darts, slings, quarter stabs, and light crossbows. Not even any of those. Okay, constitution and charisma for saves. Bring this to four, bring this to seven. Um, Arcana, Deception, Insight, Intimidation, Persuasion, and Religion. We're going to do Deception and Persuasion. Deception and Persuasion. Brings us to five, brings us to five. Um, way too close to the camera. There we go. I get two more skills from my human feet D thingy. So we could do performance and intimidation. Yeah, we're just going to do all the, the charisma things. Five, five. Oops, not 45, just five. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, and then I get a, what do we call them, background? And what did it say? It said hermit background is what they're suggesting. I don't know if I want to do a hermit background. F G where's Hermit? H here we go. Medicine and religion. Herbalism kit. I'm thinking about noble. History and persuasion. That means I could shuffle one of these around somewhere else. Um I could take Arcana. Although I'd probably take acrobatics. Yeah. Okay, so this becomes a two. This becomes a two. Noble background. Okay, and let's pick spells. Um, uh, I just gotta find my spell list. Yeah, 
and take a look at sorcerer. Um, and what in sorcerer is going to work for us? So let's start with the cantrips down here. Um, cantrips, cantrips. I get four sorcerer cantrips at level one. Um, I believe I'm double checking. Yes, four cantrips known. Let's see. Ooh, there's a firebolt. I'm loving my fire spells. Okay, so we're definitely going to get firebolt. Um, cantrips. Spells. Firebolt. Light. Let's see what else do we want? How much damage does Firebolt do? On hit, the target takes d10 points of fire damage. So that's great. That's fantastic. So I don't need another attack spell. Um. Hmm. True strike is a is a full action spell. Seriously, I guess. None of these cantrips are bonus action spells. No. I might do prestidigitation. Uh, maybe blade ward. What does friends do? The advantage on all charisma checks directed at one creature of your choice that isn't hostile towards you. When the spell ends, the creature realizes that you used magic to influence his mood and becomes hostile towards you. Creature prone to violence might attack you. Another creature might seek retribution other ways, depending on the nature of your interaction with it. Well, that's shitty. Dancing lights. Uh... Huh. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with Dancing Lights. Don't think I like it. Uh, what about Message? Minor Illusion? Create a sound or an image of an object within the range that lasts for the duration, which is a minute. And the illusion also ends if you just miss. Create a sound, its volume can... All right, we're going to take Minor Illusion. Where is my character sheet? Minor Illusion. And I think we're going to do Prestidigitation. Which we're just going to copy and paste because I don't know how to spell. It's a bitch to spell. Okay. And now, first level spells, we get two of them. Uh, Burning Hands is solid. We're going with this. I mean, there's a lot of things that we could do, but we're going specifically to make a fire sorcerer. So... Things like sleep don't really fit in with our personality. Burning hands does. But 3d6 is not that much better than d10. D10 is five and a half points of damage on average. 3d6 is 10 and a half points of damage on average. And 
and every spell slot higher than that does just an extra d6 points of damage. That's not that great. Um, maybe something like Detect Magic or Feather Fall would be a little bit better. Hmm. Witch Bolt? No, 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 no. I'm thinking Feather Fall and Detect Magic are my spells. Hmm. Featherfall will let me fall 600 feet in a minute. Wait a minute. A creature's falling rate of descent slows to 60 feet per round until the spell ends. That's 10 feet per second. Um... So 10 feet per second is, what, one-third, roughly? Is roughly one-third, or is it one-half? How, how, damn it, my science is bad. So in one second, if you you normally fall 16 feet. So in this case, I'm only falling 10 feet. So I'm going at two thirds the. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I mean, in, in game, it doesn't make a difference. I'm just trying to figure things out myself. Uh, detect magic and feather fall, I think, are what we want to go with. So let's put that on our character sheet. Detect magic feather fall. Um, and what was Chucky saying about What was what was you saying? Hmm. Unless the equipment you can get in your class, you can barter anything away. Use the equipment you can get in your class, but you can barter anything away. But not selling for a full price and keep the money. Okay. So let's start with the basic equipment. Um, light crossbow with twenty bolts or any simple weapon. Let's take a look at weapons and gear. Simple weapons. Well, I don't think I would have anything other than a dagger. So why don't we just say dagger? Uh, zero to hit, D4, piercing. A component pouch or an arcane focus, dagger, component pouch, I don't know what that it does, dungeoneer's pack or an explorer's pack, and two more daggers, so dagger x3, component pouch, dungeoneer's pack or an explorer's pack, I don't think I want either. But let's take a look at what they offer. <laughs> Sorry. It's not too far far. There we go. Uh, Dungeoneer's pack or explorer's pack. Backpack, crowbar, ham and pittance, torches, tinderbox, rations, water skin, feet. Backpack, red roll, mess kit, tinderbox, torches, rations, water skin, rope. Uh, 
Uh... I'm going to go with the Explorer's Pack. I think that fits in with my character a little bit better. Backpack, bed roll, mess kit, tinder box, torches X10, rations X10, water skin, rope X50 feet. Okay. And now let's actually take a look at what these things weigh. So, a backpack, five pounds. A bedroll, seven pounds. A mess kit, one pound. A tinderbox, one pound. Torches X10, ten pounds. Rations X10, 20 pounds. Water skin, five pounds. 50 feet of rope. 10 pounds, component pouch, 2 pounds. All right, now let's add up these weights. 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 1 plus 1 plus 10 plus 20 plus 5 plus 10 is 65 pounds. Um, so I can carry 40, 80, 120. I'm definitely encumbered at this rate. I would need to drop 25 pounds. Um, do I want to be a dick about bedroll shit? I could probably just get rid of bedroll. I'm going to drop 25 pounds. Well, I'm a wizard with a light spell, so I don't need torches. All right, that drops me to 55 here. Um, if I chuck my rations down to 35, which is fine. Why don't we get rations times 2? That'll be 4 pounds. Drop... This bring, should bring me to, to what do you call it, uh, 49 pounds. Okay. And you know, I they did give me any simple weapon plus two daggers. I don't want any of these other simple weapons. I'm actually going to get just drop two of these daggers. Bring this to one. Bring this to 47. Anyway, human, you get... Oh, feet. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, I got it all. Okay, I got that all. Um, save DC, I think, is going to be 13. Attack modifier. No, maybe the save is 11 and the attack modifier is 13 or plus 3. I should figure that shit out again. Hold on. Uh, it's DC, is, DC is 13. And the attack modifier is 5. I can know 2 spells. I have 4 cantrips. I get 2 of these suckers. Cool. Alright, so I need to decide Sorcerer's Origin. Am I going Draconic Bloodline or Wild Magic? Well, let's take a look at this again. Draconic Bloodline... Uh, 
Magic flows through your body, causing physical traits of your dragon ancestry to emerge. At first level, your hit point maximum increases by one, increases by one again when you begin a level in this class. Additionally, parts of your skin are covered by thin sheets of dragon-like scales. When you aren't wearing armor, your AC equals 13. That's nice. Elemental affinity. When you cast a spell that deals damage to type associated with your draconic ancestry, you add your charisma modifier to that damage. It's nice. Same time, you can spend one sorcery point to gain resistance to that damage type for one hour. That's also nice. Um, yeah, we're going to go with Draconic Bloodline. Draconic Bloodline, and we're going to go with Brass Dragon, which is fire type. Uh huh. Because I don't want wild magic shit flying all over the place. And then those other things, Meta Magic pops in at third level, Font of Magic. Oh, is what gives us sorcery points. Cool. Excellent. Uh, we need... Oh, we should have some starting money. Right? Um, I was, where's my noble background? Criminal. Guild artisan. Come on, noble, you're in here somewhere. Here we go. One type of gaming set. Okay, I will do Dragon Chess as my gaming set. Language is one of your choice. A set of fine clothes. Fine clothes. 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 Thank you. Signet ring. Scroll of pedigree and 25 gold. 25 gold. Thanks to your noble birth. People are inclined to think the best of you. You are welcome in high society. Blah, blah, blah. And suggested characteristics we're going to ignore. Yes. Yes. Uh, do I get any other money to start off with? I don't think so. I don't think you start with any money, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, you can buy your equipment or you can pick the stuff that they give you, and the stuff that they give you is always better than the stuff that you can buy. Um, starting equipment. Right. Okay. Cool. Is there anything else that I need in here? I am level one. Next level is 100. Oh, I have six HP, six, seven, eight HP, right? Because you start with max plus con bonus. I have D one D6 hit dice available. Uh, my armor is 13, actually. Draconic Bloodline, thank you very much. Right, that was a that was a first level trait of sorcerer or sor uh, draconic origin. Right, first level trait, first level trait, first level trait. Cool. Yada yada yada. All right, player name. Neil. Character name. We'll get back there. Human. Noble. Sorcerer. Did I spell that right? I spelled that right. Check that out. Alignment. We'll get there in a bit. Hair. Blah, blah. Okay, who cares? So, let's look at the these stats and make a character based on these stats. Um, very charismatic. And we know that he's noble. 
Charismatic noble. Okay. Uh, everything else about him is pretty average. He's, a little, he's got a higher con than normal. So we're going to say kind of um, like a Winston Churchill type character, I think. Low wisdom, low intelligence. I mean, normal wisdom and intelligence and dex and strength. But he's got good health. It's kind of maybe not, not good health. He's high con, not that high. He's got something to him. He's a, what are we, good orator, good speaker, highly charismatic, a lot of, how should we physically define his high con? It might be nice to do high con as like a little, I don't want to say, what can we discern from these stats? He's kind of a, his low intel and wisdom mean, I know we're kind of running in circles here, but we'll figure this out. He makes his way through his life based off his charms. Here we go. Makes way th through life based on personal charm. Uh, doesn't have a lot going for him upstairs. Doesn't have a lot going for him in his arms and legs. Um... How does a con come in? Just blessed with good health, I guess. I kind of want to have him be like a, a chubby guy. Hmm. Uh, always had as had the best. Food and a lot of it, giving him a rounded appearance. Appearance, giving a rounded appearance, but also making him disarming and charm disarming. Um, not one for the out. Doors or manual labor. We're going to call him Reginald. 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 Reginald what? Original scale splitter. Original scale splitter. <laughs> Relies on his on his name and his charm to get around. Let's see. So what personality wise? He's just kind of charming and disarming and relaxing. Um, comes from a noble family, doesn't really worry too much. Doesn't worry about things very much. Uh, everything has its place. Arm at the top. It's kind of the way he thinks about things. How about his? He's not an unlikable fellow. He's quite likable, actually. He just doesn't. Hmm. Uh, how would he, would he consider the other party members? Just kind of his minions, his workers. Something like that. Um, this is a little lighter than I would have hoped, but this is going to be what we're going to roll with. Hold on, let me look up the weight for fine clothes and that stuff. 
Uh, we'll figure him out as we go along with him a little bit more. This is for the Gems of Power, which starts, I want to say, on Thursday or something. Um, fine clothes. Clothes, 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 fine clothes. A, C, D, E. Clothes, fine. Six pounds for fine clothes? Seriously? What about the signet ring? How much does that weigh? Nothing. Scroll of pedigree? Yeah, I don't think it weighs anything. Um, so that additional six pounds puts me over, puts me at 53, which means I need to drop three more pounds if I want to be not... 53. I wasn't at 47. I must have been at 37. That would put me at 43. Damn it, we got to double check this stuff. 1, 2, 5, 7, 1, 1, 4, 5, 10, 6. God, it's being blocked. Oh, that's it. Brings us to 42, actually. Did I mess up my math somewhere? 1, 2, 5, 7, 1, 1, 4, 5, 10, 6. 42, okay. I'm going to drop 2 pounds. Mm. No tinder box. Fuck that, I can create fire. I don't need this shit. Brings us to 41. And I will have loose-fitting fine clothes that weigh just a little bit less. Suck it. Okay. Language is spoken. Common. Draconic. And I can speak one more from my noble background. And... How... Yeah. What other language do I want to know? I'm going to ask Chucky more about the world and what languages it would make sense for me to know before I pick my language. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, that has been making... Oh, Reginald. Oh, we should figure out these other things. Reginald. Reginald. Scale splitter. Alignment is a uh, neutral good hair. Uh, oh, what was that? Brass dragon? Brassy red. We wavy brass red. It's kind of this brassy red color. Eyes are going to be hmm. well, I am kind of a yeah coppery copper colored eyes. I am going to be um five ten. 220, 230 pounds, male, age is uh, 26, fuck it, we'll make him 20, 28, we'll make him my age, right-handed, appearance, wealth, wealthy, portly, and jovial done all right that is it for making our gems of power character uh, i hope to see you guys when we play gems of power which let's find out when that is gems of power will be on wednesday night uh, i'm sorry was that what wednesday morning for you guys wednesday morning because it's Thursday a.m. for me, so that means it's Wednesday a.m. for you. Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday morning. It's on Wednesday sometime. Go figure it. Uh, that's it. See you guys later. Bye-bye.